Have you ever considered what needs to happen outside of work or just before you stand up in front of your clients to help you perform at your best? What I've discovered is what I do outside of work or what I do just in advance of standing in front of an audience because that's what I tend to do a lot of, what I've done just before or a good bit before directly impacts how I show up for them and critically how I perform. I remember like over 20 years ago, I used to turn up for work very physically unfit and maybe not in my strongest mindset for success and for business. In my late 20s, I started to exercise and immediately I started to, to see an impact. I remember when I decided to, to go speaking eight or nine years ago, I used to have a huge fear of speaking and somebody shared an idea with me that had a huge impact. They encouraged me to control my breath. And as soon as I started to control my breathing, it had a huge impact on my confidence levels and on my performance levels at a conference, on a stage, or in front of an intimate group in a workshop. And so it stands to reason, and what I've truly discovered is, what I do outside of work, or what I do before I speak in front of a live audience, directly impacts how I perform for them. And what I've discovered is they come into two categories and I'm keen to share what I now do to help me show up at my best because that's what this video is all about, to help you to show up at your best. And I believe there's two areas of focus that we need to address. So let me just share with you what they are and then I'll share with you what kind of things and there's many things I do but I'll just share a, a, a few small things in a few of these categories. So things that I need to do physically and mentally to show up at my best and also what helps me show up in control. What are things I should be doing to show up in control? So let me share what those look like for me and then we're going to help you and maybe I'd encourage you to invest time exploring what you would need to do. So the very first thing if I want to show up at my best and that's what this is all about. How can you show up at your best? What can you do outside to show up at your best inside? So the first thing for me is I need to be running six days a week. So I need to have six runs scheduled into my life in that week if I want to show up at my best. Because the value of this for me, it just, I, I just feel better, I'm physically better, I'm more positive, I'm happier, I'm a nicer person to be around. My psychology, my energy, it's just I, I, I feel I can get so much more done. And that's why I do it first thing in the morning. Here's something else I need to do physically and mentally. I, I realize what I eat impacts hugely in these areas. So I, I try and eat the right food 80% of the time to have a really good diet 80% of the time. Here's something else I've learned. I need to be out of bed for me. I need to be out of bed in an ideal week. I need to be out of bed at 5.30 a.m. If I am, I just feel psychologically better because I'm an early morning person. I feel like I'm a step ahead. I can get so much more done before nine o'clock. For that to happen, I need, in an ideal week, I need to be in bed by 10 p.m. And that's critically important if I want to show up at my best. So I aspire to reach these things to the highest standard I can. The final thing I need to do is, and I do this every morning, it takes me 30 seconds, I just need to remind myself every day of what I actually have going in my life. So I express gratitude in my head for different things every morning and it really sets me up for the day ahead and puts challenges in my business or in my day into perspective. So they're the things that help me show up physically and mentally at my best. What does this side look like? What does in control look like? Well, in control, the very first thing I need to do is I need to have, before my week begins, and I'm going to share this in another video, I need to have clear goals for the week ahead and clear goals for the day ahead. Rather than just making it up as I go through my day or go through my week, I'll decide in advance what the goals are, what success looks like. The second thing I need to do is I need to have a clean car. And that for me is really important. I spend a lot of time in the car. Now if I'm getting into my car three or four times a day and it's cluttered and it's full of stuff, it just feeds into my thinking. Whereas if my car is nice and clean, well then it feeds into my thinking in a very, very positive way. For me, I typically will work Monday to Friday. I need in advance to have five shirts ironed. 
You're saying, Jerry, you go into that kind of detail, but it's really simple. If I'm ironing shirts at six o'clock in the morning or at 10 to 10 at night, every night or every morning, I'm not showing up in control. I, that would tell me I'm just reacting to the week. So this is critically important. And the last thing I need to do is, well, there's many other things, but just for the purposes of this video, I need to have, I do a lot of keynote conferences. I need to have, I could spend eight, 10, 12, 14 hours writing a one hour presentation. I have a, a, a system and a process where I try and have a keynote conference talk written, a very strong draft written T minus seven days in advance of the conference itself. That tells me I'm in control. So these are the kind of things I need to do. I need to really be in control of and to be delivered to a highest standard if I want to perform at my optimum best. So this is what an ideal week would look like. What is it for you? I'd encourage you maybe watch this video once, but the next time you do it, before you watch it a second time, have a think about what would it be for you? What would be the things that you would put in here? What would be the things that you would need to be in control of? And your list is your list. But I encourage you to really think about these things and then to bring them somewhere to measure them. So I'm going to show you how to measure these things. So here's what we do. When you have your top six or eight or ten things, put them into a, a, a diagram or a, a drawing like this. So what I've done is I've taken those eight things and I've written them here into what I call our optimum best wheel. And that's what this is called, my optimum Best. If I want to perform at my optimum best, these are the things I need to be doing. So let's see, how am I actually doing in these things? Well, well, let's have a look. So I'm now going to rate my current level of satisfaction in these areas. So this represents zero. And this line here represents 100. Zero, 100. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure my current level of satisfaction in how I'm doing. I'm saying this is really important if I want to show up at my best. How am I doing right now, at this week in my life? How am I doing? How am I performing in this area? So for example, I might be performing really, really well. So I will draw there, if that represents say 80%. I'll draw it like this and I'll write 80% there. 5.30 a.m., how am I doing with that? Am I doing it five mornings a week? Am I doing it two mornings a week? Well, I might rate myself, depends on where I am at any moment in time, I might rate myself at, say, 70% in this. I'm doing it three, maybe four mornings a week, but I, there is room for improvement. So I might rate myself at 70% there. What about diet? How am I doing with diet? Well, just in the last week or two, I've slipped a little bit, so I might only, let's draw that there just to be a true replica. I might rate diet at about, say, 50%. I'm good, but there's lots of room for improvement. Gratitude. Let's imagine I haven't done that for the last two weeks, or maybe once in the last two weeks. I might rate myself at 10% there. Now, here's the thing. I'm saying these are really important. I'm saying these help me show up at my best. Now what I'm doing is I'm rating how I'm doing in reality. Clear goals, how am I doing there? Let's say I, I give myself 30%. We fill 30%. What about a clean car? We'll say 35%. Fill that in. Five shirts ironed, well, that's going really well. Let's say 60%. I'm doing certainly four, but maybe there's room for improvement. T minus seven days, let's say we're at 40%. Now I've got my rating, but just to show you the true power of this visual, we've got one final thing in this stage of the exercise. And that is, if this was a vehicle, and a vehicle that had a wheel, and this, let's just draw this the whole way around. I want you to imagine, and it should be starting to appear very obvious to you, because you're looking at it, this is the wheel of my week as it stands because I've rated it in this way. So if that was a wheel, what kind of a week do you think I'm going to have? Is it going to, am I going to show up at my best? Is it going to be a bumpy ride? What do you think? You see, by measuring it in this way, it can give us a very clear picture of how we're actually doing. It will show us what's working well, 
like I'm running really, really well, I'm really good at this, but it also highlights maybe areas that we need to improve. And you see, I've said that these things are really important. I've said that these help me show up at my best, but this is my reality. So from this, I will take an area and I will try and improve that area. So say it was clear goals. I might ask myself, what would I need to do next week or in the next month to grow that from 30 to 35% or 35 to 40? And then I would set a goal to help me achieve that. That's how we get better. It's not rocket science, it's very straightforward, but it's only by doing it this way that we can really see, well, actually, you know, if I did these things to a higher level, magic could happen in my week. I could show up so much better because I've said these are the most important things. What's on your list? I encourage you to invest time in figuring out what do you need to do to show up physically and mentally at your best. What do you need to do to show up in control? And take them, put them into a wheel, measure them, come up with a goal, follow through on that, and I'm very confident that you will start to show up even better than you're presently doing.